So there's different equipment that you need for YouTube. For the most basic YouTube video, all you need is a microphone. Seriously, that's all you need. All you need to do is put your voice onto YouTube. And my microphone, I bought this a few years ago when I was experimenting whether I should be on YouTube or not. And this one cost me 40 pounds. It's a Samsung Go mic. And I, I do like it. There's a bit of problems with it now. It only works in omnidirectional mode. The other modes, cardioid and and cardioid minus 10 don't work at all, but omnidirectional still sounds fine. And I have a nice webcam, which cost me 60 pounds, the Logitech 910, which runs at 1080p. Obviously you don't have to do that. Phones are so great nowadays, that you can record something on your phone or video of yourself. I just use the webcam. And if you're editing videos, I recommend you have a decently spec computer. I started off doing my videos on my laptop. Um, my laptop, although my laptop was decent spec, it kept crashing on me it was just a problem with the laptop so I saved up my money and I got a PC which cost me about 700 pounds I built it from scratch as you've probably seen in my past videos which is a lot of money but I expect this PC to last me for at least five years five to ten years I use it a wee bit for gaming as well but it's mostly just a video editing machine I maybe would have not got quite as high specs if I knew what I needed I think you can get away with spend about 400 pounds on a PC if you get a good deal. It's probably better editing on a PC than a laptop because you need a decent graphics card for the rendering if you're rendering video and laptops usually have very poor graphics cards. I know mine does. If you can get a decent PC for a reasonable price uh, just do that. And there's no rush to go onto YouTube. I mean you can upload videos to YouTube and keep them private. Just be passionate. Try and be passionate about what you're talking about. I, I know it's difficult talking to a webcam, but I sort of have to trick myself into thinking I'm talking to as a person right in front of me who I'm talking to. At the end of the day, I am talking to you guys, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not completely crazy. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Well, maybe just a little bit crazy. If you're recording a uh, gameplay on a console, get a capture device. Don't cheap out on the capture device. That is a lesson I learned. This is before I went on YouTube, I had an easy cap, or as I call it, easy crap, because at the start, it would capture old footage in, I think it was 360p, and it worked at the start, but then you started seeing static going down the TV, and it just, it was so crap. It only cost me 20 pounds, and it was just 20 pounds down the drain. Someone offered to buy it off me for 15 pounds, and I said no. Ah, uh, I should have just taken the 15 pounds. And now it's just lying somewhere in the house. The other one I got was a Roxio. Uh, cost me about 50 pounds. That was an even bigger waste of money. Although it did work a bit better. The quality wasn't quite up to what my current Hapage PVR2 capture device is. It was a bit cumbersome setting it all up, getting the drivers and all that. It did work for the first few months and then it just completely shot itself. It just stopped working altogether. And I tried a different computer, didn't make any difference. And it couldn't do HD, it could only do component. Because at the time I had a PS3, that was my most powerful console a few years a few years ago, so I didn't need the HDMI, but I just thought stuff it, just get a decent capture card. I got the Hapage PVR2 Gaming Edition. They were going pretty expensive, over 100 quid, so I got this one used for £70. And it wasn't too bad. Uh, the only problem is the button that you press to on the capture device to start and stop. The capture didn't work whenever I got it. So I have to click it on the computer. But aside from that, it works fine. You get the odd time you capture footage and it ends up being corrupt on the computer. There's like green bars below and I can't really explain that. I think it happens more with the component video. I haven't come across that with the HDMI at the time of this recording so if you're doing a gaming channel you don't even have to have gameplay but if you are having gameplay get a decent capture card. Hapage or Elgato are two great companies so get one of those.